Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm not even going to call his name. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but thanks for the reminder so I can turn mine off now. Uh, let's get started. This is, today is November the 7th, 2024. It's 5.45 p.m. This will be an official meeting of the Jubin Crossing Economic Development District, uh, Parish of Livingston, State of Louisiana, Thursday, November the 7th. Um, the first thing to get started, the council acts as the, uh, as the Economic Development District. So in order to get started, Ms. Sandy or Ms. Raven, would one of you call the roll to make sure we have a quorum here tonight, please? Mr. Coates? Here. Mr. Goff? Absent. Mr. Wascom? Here. Mr. Shavers? Here. Mr. Taylor? Here. Ms. Sandifer? Here. Mr. Erty? Here. Mr. Mangus? Here. Mr. Watts? Here. Thank you so much. Mr. Ryan, um, first item on the agenda is a resolution authorizing the Juvenile Crossing Economic Development District, Livingston, State of Louisiana, to proceed with the issuance and sale of revenue and refunding bonds in four series. Do you want to talk a little bit about that or give us a quick up, update? There we go. Can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, I got okay. you now. Can you hear me now? Uh, just briefly, this is um, the the district issued some sales tax bonds years ago, um, and we're simply refinancing them, just like you would refinance your mortgage, lowering the interest rate uh, on the bonds. Um, there is a small new money component in there that's going to be used primarily for some road work out there, uh, some long overdue patching up with some roads out there. That's pretty much all it is. All right. Um, of course, refinancing. Are the interest rates locked in now, or are they still? Will they still be even we, lower? We're, we're going to get a rating. I think uh, we're meeting or having a call with Darren and Pours the fifth. I think, um, and once we get the rating, we'll go out and market the bonds and then lock it in at that time. Of course, with uh, the election out here, interest rates are dropping even more. So, so they shot up uh, uh, Wednesday morning significantly. Okay. Um, a lot, but uh, they they drop precipitously today. Today, uh, and I anticipate as we get closer to the end of the year, and and you know the markets figure out what's going to happen and who's what and where's where. There's always a lot of volatility right before and right after a presidential election. The markets are extremely volatile. Uh, the further you get away from that, the more the markets calm down. Stabilize. Yeah. Is there a motion by this council to? Uh, uh, <clears throat> Do we need to read this by title or not necessarily? Or you no, have the resolution good enough? Uh, we all have a copy of it. Is there a motion to approve this resolution? I'll make that motion. Motion by Mr. Ryan Shaver, <laughs> second by. Oh, who, who made the second? Is there a second? Second by Mr. John Mangus. Is there any discussion? Yes. Miss, Miss, uh, Mr. Turn Ryan. your mic on. Mr. Ryan. Um, just for a uh, point of clarification, these bonds are not, we're um, selling them. I mean, they're municipal bonds, right? So, yes, sir. And, and uh, so they are municipal bonds. They'll, they'll be sold to investors. Um, and they are in no way an obligation of the parish. Right. Uh, so the parish, uh, if these bonds defaulted uh, or we couldn't refinance exactly. or anything else, there is no economic impact to parish council finances. Right. So we're not actually, in this case, we want the, the interest rates to be higher for the people that buy them so they get repaid. So what, we ho what we're hoping to do is lower the interest rates on the existing bonds. So what we'll do is we'll sell new bonds and pay off the old bonds and have the new bonds outstanding at a lower interest rate, just like if you refinanced your mortgage. Okay. You would go get, you know, literally on the same day, you would close the new mortgage at 4%, right. take the proceeds from that mortgage and pay off your old 5% mortgage the same day and start making payments on your new mortgage. Right, and, and these bonds were, um, when they were first issued, they were, a a higher interest rate than now? They, they were, and okay. I'll tell you probably the deciding factor, uh, Mr. Mangus, is 
So when we issued these bonds, most of, like it was a brand new district, uh, there were still a lot of empty pads out yeah. there that we had leases for, but no building. Uh, there wasn't a lot of, there was no sales tax collection history. The, the largest tax out there is the, is the EDD tax, the Economic Development Sales Tax. Right. Uh, as most people know, you pay a little bit more, I think a penny more, when you buy something there than you would if you bought it at Walmart because it's in that special economic development district. Right. And they use that tax to fund infrastructure, roads, water, sewer, drainage, lighting, et cetera. Um, so when we initially issued the bonds, obviously as you, if you're an investor and you're looking at maybe buying these, there's no sales tax collection history. Yes. So it's, it's a crapshoot. Uh, now we've got a long history. Uh, they're doing it extremely well. I think they're the largest sales tax payer in the parish by far. Uh, and because of that, we feel like we can get a rating on the bonds. Um, okay. So when the bonds were That's initially it. issued, they were non-rated. So they would be in, in Junk slang bonds. called, yeah, I hate that term, <laughs> yes. but non-investment grade bonds. Um, right. <clears throat> so uh, my son buys and sells bonds. He's a bond trader, and if he were selling you those bonds, he would have to tell you they're not investment grade, so they're risky. Uh, with the sales tax collection history the way that it's been and the way that it is now and as well as the district is doing, we feel we can get these bonds rated investment right. grade. Uh, and so being a lower risk investment comes a lower interest rate. And people buy municipal bonds, just a point of clarification, they buy them because they don't have to pay um, the Federal and state taxes. Yeah, income um, tax on them. Yeah, I buy, uh, it's, it's actually illegal for me to buy these bonds in, in, the, in the opening market when they sell them because I'm on the side of the transaction. Uh, but within a week, within a week, I could call my son, who's a bond trader, and say, "Hey, get me some of those Juban Cross and Economic Development bonds. I want five thousand dollars of them." Okay. Uh, well, thank you for that. Sure, I appreciate it. All right. Has any comment, Mr. Scott Crawford? I noticed he's in the room tonight. I can't follow that. Oh, you sure? <laughs> well, you hadn't got you an Indian motorcycle yet, have you? <clears throat> okay. Is there? We have a motion and a second. Any more comments, discussions? None being. Uh, you want to call for the vote? Uh, Ms. Raven or Sandy? Mr. Coates? Yes. Mr. Goff? Yes. Mr. Wascom? Yes. Mr. Shavers? Yes. Mr. Taylor? Yes. Ms. Sandifer? Yes. Mr. Erty? Yes. Mr. Mangus? Yes. Mr. Watts? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, hey, Mr. Mangus, if I have not already thanked you, let me thank you again for spending, I know, a lot of time uh, helping promote the movie tavern event out there. Aww. Well, thank you. I know how much time that takes. Uh, that was fun. I appreciate it. He did. Uh, any, any more business for the district then? With that being, no, is there a motion to adjourn? Motion by Mr. Shavers. Second by Mr. Joe Erty. Any discussion? All in favor say yes. 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 Any opposed? That motion carried unanimous. Thank you so much, thank Mr. You all Scott, very much. Mr. Thank Mr. You. Mr. Jim. <clears throat> we'll have a Livingston Parish Council meeting.